YouTube, it's the Plant Ninja. Today's video will be about uh, beneficial insects, specifically my top three that I think are great for the garden. Um, I know there's a lot of push towards using less chemicals and maybe even organic uh, gardening when it comes to flowers, even though we don't plan on eating them. Uh, but just keeping chem chemicals to a minimum and so we still have to deal with the pests and I think this is a great way to do so. So enjoy the video. Coming in at number three are ladybugs. These are typically purchased from sellers in bulk with a recommendation to keep them dormant by placing them in the fridge or some sort of cold storage until needed. When you decide you're ready to use them, remove them from the cold storage and apply them to the base of a heavily infested plant in the evening. I say heavily infested because ladybugs won't stick around long if there isn't much to eat. Also apply a light misting of water to the plant as the ladybugs are often dehydrated after their dormancy and having an available water source will give them just another reason to stick around maybe a little bit longer. Though truth be told, about 95% of the ladybugs will have flown away about 48 hours after application. Apparently, there are some who recommend spraying the ladybugs with a sugary liquid to temporarily glue down their wings, uh, but that just sort of seems cruel to me. Like, yes, ladybugs, now that I've awakened you from your cold slumber and you have tasted freedom, don't mind me as I further cripple you. Now eat my bugs. Anyway, if you are fortunate enough for some of the ladybugs to stick around, you may notice various life stages. Their eggs are oval shaped and typically, typically under the uh, underside of leaves and their larvae uh, look like small red and black alligators. Don't get rid of these, these are what you want. Um, just for reference, for one small to medium infested shrub, you'll need about 3,000 ladybugs which you'll want to release about half at a time. Number two on the list are praying mantids, praying mantises, whatever the plural is, you get the point. These are typically sold in egg cases that hatch in about 10 to 14 days after placing in a warm, sunny area. You want to put these in a ventilated container unless you want 200 baby mantids free roaming in your house. Of course, you can hatch these outdoors as well. Just ensure that the egg case is not laying directly on the ground where ants and the, and the like can get to them. There are many varieties of mantids created perfectly to match their surroundings. They're quite skilled assassins and they are indiscriminate of their prey. They will eat pests, but also beneficial insects such as bees, butterflies, and even small animals such as hummingbirds. So if you have a pollinator or a hummingbird garden, you may want to avoid mantids altogether. Each egg case has approximately 200 mantids and you should plan on 600 mantids to cover 5,000 square feet of garden space. And the number one spot belongs to the green lacewing. The larval stage of the lacewing will eat up to 200 soft-bodied insects, some say per day, some say per week, but either way it's a lot. The adults typically only feed on pollen and nectar, though sometimes can also be predatory. It's primarily the larvae that do all the work. Um, the larvae are wide bodied and they have very large pincers and you can often see them collect various bits of debris uh, so that they can hide from their predators. Lace wings are often sold in sort of these hex squares in bulk. You'll need about 10,000 larvae for about 5,000 square feet of garden space. You know, the more that I learn about gardening, the more I'm really amazed at how well everything works together in balance in nature. And I often think that some of the problems that we encounter in gardening can be addressed by some of the solutions already provided uh, by just our natural surroundings. And I hope today's video um, helped you tap into that somewhat. So if you are looking for less uh, chemicals or chemical-free gardening, um, consider beneficial insects. I think they're an excellent solution already provided for us. Anyway, y'all take care.